Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, this is Judy, and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and we're back, back, back again, once again, to do a little Amberlynn Reed reaction. Today she posted a little grocery haul moment situation, and I think I've mentioned before I love a grocery haul and I love a Dollar Tree haul. I don't know, those things, they just get me going. Although I have a feeling because you know sometimes when you're on desktop and you just like hover over a little thumbnail with your with your little cursor. Well, sometimes it gives you a little preview of what's to come and I saw more fucking scratch art, <laughs> okay? So there's more scratch art. It's not just a grocery haul, but that's kind of what she's been up to in her videos. And honestly, truly, it's been a few videos. She's posted a few videos since I last reacted to anything she did on her channel. And honestly, I think I stayed away from them mostly because both of them had food in the thumbnail. One of them talked about a doctor's appointment. But I actually did, just before filming this, had a little moment where Judy and I just sat down and watched them on our own. I have to say, overall, the, the Panera mukbang one, y'all didn't really miss that much, okay, truly. I'm trying to think what even eventful happened. Oh, she, she talked about a fucking egg carton organizer thing that maybe she saw on TikTok. And she talked about how she liked the way it looked. So I have this egg thing for storage and organization. I'm gonna put my eggs in here. I love organization TikTok has inspired me to continue to organize my stuff. Actually, there we go. I feel more satisfied. That just looks so much better. And honestly, I think that that's such like a metaphor for, I don't know, Amber Lynn's life, YouTube channel in general. like. Everything's about it looking better than it, the, the purpose it actually serves because what the fuck was that plastic egg carton doing any differently for her than what the regular egg carton that the eggs came in did for her, you know? It kind of, that kind of feels like her channel in general. It's like, she, she has these ideas that they, that look better than they actually are <laughs> in fruition. Is that the word I was looking for? In practice, in practice. The second video that she posted, I think she talked about her doctor and then she ate a poke bowl in it and I think the poke bowl eating was in the thumbnail. Could be wrong. Just doing this off memory. The thing is, is I probably could have reacted to that because she was doing some mundane shit. I mostly stayed away from it because she talked about going to the doctor and y'all know that that's not my favorite thing to react to when it comes to her. And the highlights for me is one, they weighed Twinkie because Amber Lynn apparently can tell the difference between two tenths of a pound when it comes to how much Twinkie may or may not weigh. But Twinkie's being a little cutie, but I was holding her and it feels like she lost some weight. So last time we weighed her, she's looking at my girlfriend all intently because <laughs> she knows she's about to go for a walk too. But anyways, it feels like she lost some weight. Last time she was 12.4. I'm thinking 12.2, but my girlfriend is still thinking she weighs 12.4. So we're going to go weigh the baby goo and see who's right. And then the other stupid shit she shared in that particular video is that apparently her and wifey are playing a game that's going to be fun for us, the audience, where they just buy each other shit off of Amazon. I'm like, Okay, is that not what you just do on a regular basis anyway? How is this a game? How how are how are we rebranding this concept to a game? I don't I don't get it and I probably would have had a good reaction for you all while I was watching it if I'd been recording but I wasn't. So, you know, that's that's what you missed on Glee. <laughs> But like I said, today we are reacting to the grocery haul vlog that she posted on Sunday, April 24th. So I'm looking forward to that. So let's get to, let's get to. Okay, you guys. Hello, hello. Hello, it's hello, hello. Day, so brushed it. So now. I swear to God, does she, does she go a vlog without talking about showering? Like, I understand why 
she does mention it from time to time because people do give her such a hard time. But like, at this point, that's her channel. She's not a weight loss channel, she's a showering channel, okay? She is a hair washing channel. She, forget, forget a weight loss channel, forget a mukbang channel. This is a, a new niche community on the internet, on YouTube, and it's the shower community. In my closet, choosing my outfit. Okay, what do we, we got? A rare little gray. <gasps> I will say there was lots of lots of animal content in that last vlog too that y'all missed out on. She showed Rarity, Wasabi, and Twonk, all three of them. Which I call her rare little gay. <laughs> <laughs> so quirky. She literally follows me everywhere. So I'm about to choose my outfit. Right now. Listen, now I, I already know. I I just let let it ponder and I was just thinking a lot about like comments I get from time to time. You know what? That's very harsh and critical of me to give her a, to call her quirky for calling her pet something different cuz I have like 12 different names <laughs> for Judy Lou and post of doodle do, potato, potato hash burn skillet, po boy. <laughs> like my that, and that that is a pet owner thing. Zach, be nice. Can't you just be nice for once instead of flying off the handle? Currently just my bra hide. Oh, okay. But you know what? Okay, Victoria's it's Secret. Right around here. Okay, Savage Fenty. It is underwear. Okay, oh, underwear again. Me. No one cares. Why do I have well, she, care? She is doing the utmost. That, I'm surprised she didn't clickbait this. A new, showing a new side of me. Amberlynn vlog. <laughs> what are you? Oh, hi, baby. You sniff it, you sniff in mama's here. panties? That's weird. It's coffee pants clean, but I don't. Coffee pants? These are such cute shorts, eh? Very rarely wear them, but they have this. The fuck is a coffee pant? Is that that's probably just my ignorant ass not knowing. Cute like lace moment. Anyways. I do have comfy pants clean. Oh, did she say comfy pants? Did she say, did I hear coffee when she said comfy? <laughs> my, my, I can't, I am hard of hearing a little bit, a little tiny bit. So maybe that's my problem. Maybe that's my fault. I do have comfy pants clean. I only have two pairs of comfy pants. Okay. These and then a pair of pink ones. So. All right. Well, at least it's not Anyways, the same black pant yeah, you always wear. Um, update on my flu shot. No symptoms. My like arm doesn't even hurt, so love that. I am I am curious why we're getting this is not usually flu shot season. I do remember she did say that she got that when she went to the doctor last. This is not I don't know why I was looking at my Fitbit for the answers of when flu flu shot season is. But I guess, you know, better late than never. This is the dress I'm gonna wear. Has a moon moment. Um mm, love the moon also, moment. I had some people ask, they were like, why didn't you like tell us much about your doctor appointment? Well, I don't really know if, like, I want to be that, like, personal anymore, but <laughs> I will say we do have some good news. Okay. Um, Wait, first of all, before the good news, tale as old as time with Amber Lynn. I'm going to give you some vague statements about a thing and then be like, I don't know if I want to be as personal anymore. I don't know if I want to give these details to you. <laughs> Then why tell us about the doctor's appointment to begin with, bestie? Good blood pressure, normal blood pressure, which actually shocked me. Shook. I still have to go and get my lab work done, so I'm trying to figure that out and get that done. Um, Love so this yeah. angle. Cinema cinema cinematographer Len over here. <laughs> with this great angle. Not me trying to say that word 12 times before I got to the right one. I am making progress, in my opinion. I'm trying to get this health figured out and situated, you know? Okay, so I just got out of the shower. Okay. Today is a no bra type of day, so... But you just had... You just had one on! Why... You just had one on! But you just had one... Where did that one go? People always ask, what do I do with my hair? I let it air dry. Sometimes I do add this sleek and shine. Garden okay. Fertis to my hair. So I'm actually going to be doing that. 
Mm. So mad about that one. This is really, this is really uh, a shower channel. We really are in the shower, the shower channel era of Amber Lynn Reed's channel. I mainly focus on the ends and the beginning. And then... Ooh, oh, yes, whip that so hair. Oh my god, you know what that just reminded me of? Okay, like, it's probably about a week ago now. I went and saw IMHO Live. IMHO is a, a YouTube channel here that does, like, drag race reviews. It's made up of three Chicago drag queens. They had a live show that they did together. And one of the, one of the performances by Auntie Chan was this one where she just like whipped her hair around. I, I think there's like a clip on YouTube of her doing it at a different time, not that night. But at one point, she came up to me. She put her hand on my shoulder and she went <laughs> and whacked me with her hair. Best moment of my life. Whoa, is that my cue? I'm looking for the brain that boosts my IQ. You guys wanted to see vlogs of my life. This will include. Showering. Stuff. <laughs> it, so good. it only has to include boring stuff because that's what you want to include. It could include interesting stuff, but <laughs> but you don't include that. Okay, you guys, it's that time yes. of the vlog. Yes. I'm going to show you more of my creations. Oh my gosh, I'm bricked up. I can't wait. I can't wait. I've been waiting for this. These are all the ones that I have shown you guys already. I, I think scratch art might be my kink. Or some new ones I've done. So I did this one. Okay. Yes. This one. So with this one, this one was supposed to be like more in the middle of the page, but I'm kind of bad at doing that. So since it wasn't in the middle of the page. You know what? I added all this around. Yeah, don't, don't stress about it, Amber Lynn. It doesn't have to be perfection, you know? There's not a lot of straight things over here anyway, so it doesn't need to be straight in the middle of the page. It can be a little crooked. It can be a little off-center. We love that. It looked like there was, like, and That's of that's real like, art. Um, that makes sense. I did this one. Perfect. Look at the detail. And, oh, yes. The, the, little, the little doodle detail. Perfect. That one. The Louvre. Straight to the Louvre. That one. Straight to the Louvre. Oh, my God. And then this one. MoMA! This one kind of sucks. I don't know. No, that belongs in MoMA. Compared to these, look how satisfying that is. So are satisfying. <gasps> All right. Here we are. We <laughs> we made it to the grocery haul. <laughs> girl, ha, girl, ha, girl, why do we spend so much time talking about your bra? <laughs> that is like the third time today we've talked about it, Bestie. It's hard. Okay, you guys, grocery haul time. Okay, so we have ground chicken. Ground chicken. Uh huh. You do get ground chicken a lot. Chicken thighs. Okay. Ground chicken. All right, so lots of meat. Love to see it. We also have some multi grain sandwich thins. Got two of those. Okay. A carton of eggs. Got a thing of sliced olives. Some Dijon mustard. Perfect. You know, some rotisserie chicken lunch meat. It's not lost on me that she's out here hauling all this food, and then we're probably gonna see twelve more mukbangs of of takeout. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not lost on me that that's probably what's gonna happen. I mean, the last two videos have included her eating takeout, so. I mean, not to say that, like, I don't get groceries and also eat takeout. Like, I just went and got groceries today. But that was also after a weekend of eating takeout because I didn't have any groceries at home. But I'm just, you know, no judgment. I'm just, this is observation. You know, when I did that Dollar Tree haul, a lot of people felt like I was judging. It's, we're, we're observing. We're observing and I'm, I'm, I'm stating my observation, so I'm observing that she's got a lot of groceries, and I'm observing that in the past, she's also done a lot of takeout uh, videos, so do you think we'll see more takeout after this? Yes or no? Put it in the comments. Just curious. No no positive or negative judgment here. Um, squeak smoked. 
Not mesquite. <laughs> Not mesquite. <laughs> and we got some. Not the slim jams. We got some Slim Jims. We were gonna get like the bigger bags. Uh huh. Um, but I guess the Instacart person couldn't find any. Cause I was gonna put like a serving in like little Ziploc baggies. So. Uh huh. And you can't do that anyways? But I guess I didn't have them. Another thing of all of, we got some peas and some heavy whipping cream. Ooh, this yes. whole thing is full of broccoli and there's a zucchini in here. Okay, veggies. Is this a zucchini bit? No. Oh, cucumber. Oh, it's a big cucumber. I got little mini ones. Oh, girl, what do you know about a big cucumber? <laughs> what do you know about a big cucumber? This, this is, uh... Oh, they didn't have them. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, they have your, the big bag. This is the kind that my girlfriend eats. The sweet and hot. Uh-huh. And then another thing of Slim Jams. So yes, many, uh, so many mushrooms. Slim Jims and jerkies. From cans of cream of mushroom soup. Mexican shredded cheese. Yeah, here's another uh, small bag of my pepper. Why, why, why do we need so much beef jerky? Why? A bag of the sweets. Spicy. Also, beef jerky is like expensive as fuck. I don't know if you all have tried to buy it ever before, but <laughs> it's not cheap. We got a ball of mozzarella cheese. We got some pepper jack cheese. Another can of olives. Um, this is Wagyu. Is that? Oh right? my god. Beef jerky that we want. More beef jerky. Last bag. Some turkey bacon. Uh, we got some vodka sauce that I want to try, mm -hmm. and then the typical one that I usually get. The old classico. The old so, classico jar and sauce. This time for our Amazon box. This Amazon box shit is so dumb. I mean, I think I kind of alluded to that in the little recap at the beginning of this video, but this is just some stupid excuse or reason for them to buy shit for their home. This is so dumb. It's literally the so dumb. Just, just buy it. If you want to buy it, buy it. But like, let's not let's not play around like it's some fun game, okay? Of the day, and this is the box that my girlfriend ordered. Also, I thought you only did this once a month. Did we not just do this in a video? That's my other confusion. Uh, is that she? I thought she said we're, they were gonna do it once a month. You literally just did that in a video that you posted two days ago or something like that. Oh, let's do it. Ooh, oh yeah, she's been wanting a tea kettle. Oh my God, it's so cute. Okay. She likes tea. All right. Oh, shut up. So why are you, so if, if it's for wifey, why are you opening it? I don't understand that part of it. That, that part of the game doesn't make sense to me either. You guys. Oh, and by the way, you can click my little Amazon situation type deal. There's a link down below. Uh, if you see anything that I open from Amazon, uh, I will try to remember. To uh, it the it's all making sense now. It's all making sense. That, it, there you, the, this is, ooh. See, I was thinking a lot of people are going to be like, oh, she just wants to write this stuff off on her taxes, blah, 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 blah. Like, Story oldest time over here on the Amberlynn channel. Everybody thinks that that's why she shows all the things she buys, which I don't know, could be true, could not be true. I don't think she could actually legally claim all of it 100%, but <laughs> that's just my non-tax professional opinion, having done taxes myself. Um, like my own taxes, you know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? But this makes sense. If she if she has the little if she's a little Amazon ambassador now and she's got her little Amazon store that you can go and buy stuff and she can get commission from the things that she buys that she shows in her videos, that makes sense now. It's all it's you know what? You know what? It's adding up. I don't know what to actually show you on the calculator because uh, I don't I don't know what I, I guess I could do two plus two equals four, but shit is adding up today. Shit is adding up today. So you can um, click it and get it yourself. Look at this. I mean, it's a cute kettle. Oh my God. And this part is like wood. 
Uh, well, it's not real. I was gonna say that looks fake. That's some fake wood, bestie. Oh, okay. Wait. She has no idea how a tea kettle works. She's so cute. <laughs> she she has and no then idea. This lid. You can get them in several different colors, but obviously we like the darker, the black. This is gonna look so cute, just chilling on the stove, just like, hey guys, drink out of me. <laughs> oh, there's something else. What? Did I miss something that was funny there? Was she? Was that a joke she just made? Ooh, a pro. Cause she is a pro in the kitchen. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> and in the bed. Um. <laughs> no. 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 Mm mm. No. I don't. I don't, I don't think so. Mm mm. I. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm all right. Let's keep it moving, please. This is a Pro 5 Blade Mandolin Slicer. Ooh. Ooh, mandolins so scare that me. That looks like. I just, I feel, the box. I feel like mandolins are like me about to lose a finger situation type of deal. I, mm -mm, no, not for me. I would not use one. <laughs> but I'm also not a pro in the kitchen. Might be in the bedroom, but not in the kitchen. Okay, there's like a million different pieces to this. So the first time we use it, I will make sure to vlog it because- Will you? Hi, I think this is so cool. So I've been liking this like shredded carrot salad situation type deal and my girlfriend always shreds the carrots for me because uh -huh. I don't want to shred because I am three years old. So I think this might actually help. If you're, if you're, sh it, if you're shredding, why don't you use like a grater or something? Like not a, a mandolin. I mean, I guess you could use a mandolin still too, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, when we use this, I will definitely make sure to vlog. What? We're not gonna get an outro? She gave an outro for the last one too. That's why we, why I should have reacted to it. Cause the last vlog she posted, she did have an outro. I feel cheated. I feel cheated. Well, that's that. I'm actually glad I reacted. I had so much fun reacting to that video. I don't know why. Maybe it's just that I'm in a silly, goofy mood on a Sunday night when I'm filming it. I don't know, I also lately have been filming like more in the mornings or midday, so I feel like my energy is just like a little bit different. Like maybe I need to start filming in the afternoons and evenings again because I felt like I had more energy. I, I felt like I had more little silly goofy energy inside for you little stinkers. <laughs> But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you're brand new to my channel, make sure to subscribe down below and hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video or go live, but I haven't gone live in a very long time. Make sure to leave me a comment, hit like, click share, follow me on all of my social media, including Twitch where I do go live, <laughs> and uh, have a great day. Bye!